And today we're going to talk about marine mammals observed in the Caribbean. My name is Gabriela Hernandez, and this presentation was also made by Jose David Palacios Alfaro, who is a marine biologist here in Costa Rica. The topics that we are going to talk today include the marine mammal species observed in the wider Caribbean region, including Balenopteridae, Balaenidae, Fisiteridae, Cogidae, Cifidae, Delphinidae, Trichetidae, and Inidae. And at the end of this presentation, we're going to have an identification quiz. And now let's talk about the marine mammal species observed in the wider Caribbean. And here is a summary of the cetacean species diversity. It includes seven different families, including Palenopteridae, which include blue whale, fin whale, common minke whale, bright whale, say whale, humbug whale, which is most common in this group, and rice whale, which is endemic in the region. The Fisiteridae family includes the sperm whale. The Cifidae includes Cuviers, Gervais, Plain Vile, True, and Soberby big whale. The Balaenidae include the species of North Atlantic right whale. The Cogidae include the Pygmy sperm whale and Dwarf sperm whale. And the family of the Inidae include Amazon River dolphin. The most diverse group is Delphinidae, which includes Killer whale, Short Pine Pile of whale, false killer whale, pygmy killer whale, melon head whale, Fraser dolphin, resource dolphin, bolinos dolphin, roof tooth dolphin, Atlantic spotted dolphin, spinner dolphin, pantropical spotted dolphin, climene dolphin, striped dolphin, common dolphin, and Guiana dolphin and Tukushi. Endemic, the Guiana dolphin, and the most common species in this group include the short firing pile of whale, the bolinos dolphin, the spinner dolphin, the Atlantic spotted dolphin and the Climene dolphin. In the manatee uh, species diversity, we have only one species, which is the West Indian manatee, Trichetius manatus, which is endemic in the region. And now let's talk about Balenopteridae. And now let's talk about the blue whale, which is the first species, Balenoptera musculus. When they are neonate, they have a length of 7 meters and 3 tons weight. And when they are adults, the length is about 21 to 26 meters and the weight is about 90 to 125 tons. The baleen reach a length of 0.9 meters. They are black with dark, coarse bristles and they are about 270 to 400 plates in each side. These big animals have a U-shaped head and broad rostrum. It has also prominent rostral crest to the blowhole. The tongue and the palate are black. It has 60 to 80 ventral groups from mouth to umbilicus or beyond. The flippers are pointed white below. The body is dark blue-gray with pale modeling, maybe orange-brown or yellowish color. The dorsal fin is small, triangular or curved and its position is three quarters back on the body. The length is less than 0.25 meters. And here you have a picture of two different animals, two different blue whales. The first one is really decomposed. We classify it as code four of the composition. You still are able to see some grooves and some um, material organs inside still. The second one on the right, is a really fresh animal, is code 2. And here we're trying to get some samples uh, to make diagnosis of different diseases. These animals are huge, so you need uh, really big machines to roll the animal. You don't pull this kind of animal, you roll it. And you make a hole big enough, and sometimes it's not that big enough, but <laughs> you have to make a really big uh, hole to put these animals. Um, buried it is the best way to 
to these, car these carcasses. And here is a map of the distribution of this animal worldwide, of course, it's present in the Caribbean region. And this species is classified as endangered worldwide. The second species is the fin whale, Balenoptera physalus. When they are neonate, the length is about six meters and the weight is two ton. When they are winning, the length is about 11 meters. When they are adults, the length is about 22 to 24 meters long and the weight is about 60 to 70 tons. The baleens reach an average of um, 0.7 meters. They are gray and yellow striped, but white to yellow in the anterior right side. The numbers of them are 260 to 470 plates by side. The head is flattened and wedge shaped. The body is gray to brownish above. The dorsal fin is about 0.6 meters falcate and its position is about two thirds back on body long and gradually inclined. It has strong dorsal ridge anterior to the tail. And this is really typical of this species. The lower right jaw is white while the left is dark. The through groups, it's about 56 to 100 extent at least to navel and ventrally the animal is white. And here is the map of the worldwide distribution of this fin whale. Of course, it's present in the Caribbean. And the official classification of the conservation of this species is a vulnerable species. And now let's talk about the common minke whale or Balenoptera acuturostrata. When they are neonates, they reach a length of six meters and two tons. And when they are adults, they reach a length of 8.3 meters and 9.2 tons. The baleen reach a length of 0.3 meters. They are white to cream colored, some may be dark. The number are 231 to 285 plates by side. These animals are head sharply pointed and V-shaped. They have 50 to 70 ventral groups. The body color is dark gray above, and this is really typical of this species, has a white patch on each flipper. They have tall dorsal fin curved and located two thirds of the body, and the ventral area is white. This is a map of the world distribution of these species. Of course, again, is present in the uh, Caribbean region, and the official classification of these species is less concerned. And now let's talk about the brides well, Balenoptera eleni. These animals, when they are neonate, they reach a length of four meters and one to two tons. During the winning time, they reach a length of 7.1 meters, and when they are adults, they reach about 11 to 15 meters long, and a weight of 25 to 30 tons. The baleen are short, 0.4 meters. They are dark red with coarse bristles. The number is 250 to 370 plates by side. A unique characteristic of this species and how we can uh, differentiate between other species is that they have three ridges from the tip of the rostrum to the blow hole. This is really characteristic of this species. They have 40 to 70 ventral grooves from the lower jaw to beyond the pectoral fins. The body is dark gray. They have pale belly. The dorsal fin is strongly curved with pointed tip and the, the size is about 0.5 meters. They have light scars and scratches and they have, may have light bands. And here is a picture of the stranded bright whale. You can see clearly that three ridges that we talk about in the rostrum. And on the right, here is a map of the distribution worldwide of this species. The official classification of this species is data deficient. And here is a new species recently discovered, the rice whale. We don't have information of the size or the weight during the neonate or winning time. We know that by adults, they reach a length of 12 meters and 3 to 27 tons. The baleen are short, 0.4 meters, and the numbers of plates are 230 to 290 plates by side. 
Long ago, this species was considered a subspecies of the bright whale, but now we know by molecular information that they drift They have also three ridges from the tip of the rostrum to the boho. They have the rest of the characteristics pretty the same as a bright whale, including 40 to 70 ventral grooves from the lower jaw to beyond the pectoral fins, the dorsal fin that is strongly curved with point tip of 0.2 meters. They have pale belly, they may have light pants, and the body is dark gray. And here are some pictures of, in the left, a stranded uh, rice well, code two of the composition, and a life on the right hand. The official classif classification of this species is critically endangered. And here is a map of the um, really small distribution of these species in the Gulf of Mexico. The say whale or Balenoptera borealis, they, when they are neonate, they reach a length of 4.5 meters and 1 to 2 tons. During the winning time, they reach a length of 9 meters, and adults, uh, they reach a length of 12 to 17 meters and 25 to 30 tons. The baleen reach a length of 0.8 meters. They are black with fine white to grayish brown bristles. The numbers are 220 to 400 plates by side. They have a single crest from the tip of the rostrum to the espiracle. The rostrum is a slightly arched, tip turned downward. The body is gray to blue gray above, lighter below, often with light oval scars. The dorsal fin is high, 0.3 to 0.6 meters, and very curved, falcate, and about two thirds back on the body. They may have light scars and scratches. The flukes are dark below. The belly is white, and they have about 32 to 60 uh, through groups, ending between flippers and navel. And here is the map of, say, whale. Of course, they include the Caribbean uh, region, and the official classification of this species is endangered. And now we're going to talk about one of the most common species of whales in the region, in the Caribbean region, is the humpback whale. These animals, when they are neonate, they reach a length of 4.5 meters of and 1 to 2 tons. During the winning time, they reach a length of 7.6 meters to 8.5 meters long. When they're adults, they reach a length of 13 to 15 meters and a weight of 30 to 40 tons. The baleens are short 0.7 meters. They are black with dark brownish gray bristles and the numbers include 270 to 400 plates by side. They have fleshy mass near tip of the lower jaw. The jaws and the head have numerous knobs, often barnacles encrusted. The body is dark gray to black. They have a dorsal fin or hum two thirds back on the body. It's really small and curved. They have series of bumps between the dorsal fin and the tail. The flukes have a serrate trailing edge. They have a white spot on the belly. The flippers are really characteristic of this species. It's really long, white, and with protuberance on the front edge. They have also 14 to 24 throat grooves. They are white and extending to navel. And here's a photo of a typical humpback whale. The official classification of this species is less concerned. And here are some pictures of alive animals on the left and a stranded humpback whale on the right. You can see the long um, pectoral flippers and the color, coloration ventrally and in the side, and also the knobs of this calf. And here is the distribution of uh, the occurrence of humpback whales during the winter breeding season. We can see the distribution in this region. And now let's talk about Balaenidae family. The North Atlantic right whale is also present in the region. They reach a length of 4.5 to 6 meters long when they are neonates, and the weight is about one ton. When they are adults, they reach a length of 13 to 
16 meters long and 90 tons. They have large baleen, about 3 meters long, brownish to black. The number of them are 200 to 270 plates by side. They have callosities on top and the bottom of the head, sand around the jaw. This is really characteristic of this species and is an easy characteristic to differentiate. Between other species, they have large head, about one fourth to one third of the body length. The body is almost black, not or so thin. They have narrow tail stalk. They have dark fluke, trailing edge, pointed tips. They have a white irregular patch in the underside. The pectorals are broad and paddle shaped. And this is also another really characteristic of this species. They are they have strongly arc mouth line. This is the distribution of the North Atlantic right whale, and the official classification of this species is critically endangered. And now let's talk about Fisiteridae family. And now we're going to start with the Odontoceti order. Let's talk about the sperm whale, Fisiter macrocephalus. When they are neonates, they reach a length of 3.5 to 4.5 meters long, and the weight is about one ton. When they are adults, they reach about 12 meters long in the case of females and 18 meters long in the case of males. And the weight is about 57 tons. In the upper jaw, they don't have teeth. And in the lower jaw, they have 18 to 26 tooth in each row. They have a huge square head and also a single S-shaped blow hole to the left. They have dorsal fin, hump-like followed by the smaller bumps along the dorsal ridge. The body is dark, brownish, gray, skin corrugate that help them to, to dive. The belly is often white. The flippers are small and blunt. They have white around the mouth and throat with short forearms. The lower jaw is narrow with large conical teeth. And here are some pictures and how they look alive on the sea. You can see the square head, and they often travel in small groups. And here you can see a stranded one. You can see the lower jaw, which is really characteristic, and the square head. And here on the right, you can see that there is no teeth in the upper jaw, and in the lower jaw, they have conical teeth. This is a map of the distribution of a sperm whale in the Caribbean side. Um, and the official classification of this species is vulnerable. The next family that we're going to talk is the Cogidae. And now let's talk about the pygmy sperm whale, the Cogia breviceps. This is the biggest of the two species in this family. Pygmy sperm whale, when they are neonate, the length is about 1.2 meters and the weight is about 53 kilograms. When they are adults, the length is about 2.7 meters to 3.8 meters and the weight is about 450 kilograms they don't have teeth in the upper jaw and they have about 10 to 16 tooth in each row in the lower jaw these animals look like a shark so they have a shark profile this is really characteristic of, of them they have body dark blue gray to brownish on the back and lighter on the sides the dorsal fin is small, about 0.2 meters long, and is located about two thirds of the back on the body. They have belly white or pink. They have flippers short and broad located forward on the body. They have this false gill. This is really important characteristic of this species. Marking posterior to the eye. The lower jaw is small and narrow and have sharp curved teeth. Here is one picture or one individual stranded, um, and in the right you can see a map with the distribution within the Caribbean region. This species is classified uh, as less concerned in the official classification. The second species in this family is the dwarf sperm whale, Cogesima. When they are neonates, the length is about one meter long and the weight is 14 kilograms. They are smaller than uh, Koja breviceps. When they are adults, the length is about 2.5 meters and the weight is about 272 kilograms. 
they do may have a uh, one to three tooth row in the upper jaw and in the lower jaw they have seven to twelve tooth in each row they also have shark profile they have false gill the dorsal fin is large curved and in the middle of the back the back is gray the belly is white or pink frequently have a pair of grooves in the throat and the lower jaw is small and narrow and here you have two pictures of a stranded uh, Saima. the first one is an adult uh, she was still alive and the second one is a neonate, is a calf. So here on the left, you can see an adult cojasima for necropsy. It's really important to see, you can see the lower jaw, the small teeth, and the through groups here. And on the right, and this is also really important, this is the normal color of the feces of this species. In another um, animals you may think this is bloody this contains blood on this feces but no in this animal this is actually useful for escape from predators and here is a map of the distribution of these species in the caribbean region you can see it's all over um and the official classification of this species is less concerned and now let's talk about the cifide family Let's start with the cuvier beakwell, Cepheus cabirostris. This animal, when they are neonates, the length is about 2.7 meters and the weight is about 250 kilos to 300 kilos. But when they are adults, the length is about 7 meters and the weight is about 3 tons. They don't have teeth in the upper jaw and they have only one tooth in each row. They have short rostrum, poorly defined beak. They have mouth curves upward at the rear. They have concave surface on top of the head and depression behind the blowhole. They have a pair of V-shaped grooves on the throat. They are wide back and head in adults. They have dorsal fin small, curve about two-thirds back on the body. They have white scratches and round scars. They have a variable color gray to brown to tan to white lighter with age the belly is often light colored here you have a couple of animals stranded animals so cool your beak well you can see the coloration the beak and the coloration on the belly and here is a map of the distribution of cuvier beak well in the caribbean region the official classification of this species is less concern. And now let's talk about Blainville big well, Mesoplodon densirostris. Uh, the neonate land is about 2 meters, 2.5 meters, and when they are adults, they reach a land of 4.7 meters. The weight is about 1 ton. They don't have a tooth in the upper jaw, but they do have one tooth in each um, row if it's a male. The lower jaw protrudes, the forehead is flattened with marked depression anterior to the blowhole. The body is dark on the back, lighter gray ventrally and on sides. The dorsal fin is small. They have white scars and scratches skin in adults especially, and they have blotchy gray to pinkish marking and white oval scars. And here is the distribution within the Caribbean region. This species the official classification is on less concern. Gervais Bigwell or Mesoplodon rapius, when they are neonate, the length is about 2.1 meter. When they are adults, the length is about 4.6 to 4.8 meters long, and the weight is about 1.2 tons. They don't have tooth in the upper jaw, and the males have one tooth in each row. How they look? Well, they have extremely small head with narrow beak and moderate long face. They have gradually a sloping melon and they have dark patch around the eye. The back is dark gray. The dorsal fin is small and is located two thirds of the body. And the belly is light gray or white if the animal is young. Here is a map 
of the distribution of this big well within the Caribbean region. The official classification of this species is less concerned. And now let's talk about true speak well, Mesoplodon mirus. When they are neonate, the length is about 2 meters long, 2.5 meters long, and when they are adult, it's about 5.3 or 5.4 meters long. The weight is about 1.4 ton. They don't have tooth in the upper jaw, and males have one tooth in each row. So they have mandibular teeth on the tip of the lower jaw. They have a slightly bulging melon and a depression behind the blowhole. Also, they have a dark ring around the eye. The body is heavy. The dorsal fin is small. It's located about two thirds of the body. They have a light belly, usually gray, and uh, they have also a white urogenital patch in some individuals. And here is a map of the world distribution of this big whale. The official classification of this species is less concerned. So where we big whale or Mesoplodon bidens, when they are neonate, the length is about 2.4 meters. When they are adults, the length is about 5.1 to 5.5 meters long. The weight is about 1.3 ton. They don't have teeth in the upper jaw and males have one tooth in each row. So these animals have a long and thin beak, mandibular teeth on the lower jaw, prominent balls in forehead, low hole is a crescent with ends pointed forward. They have a pair of shallow throat grooves. They have spots in the body, in adults especially. They have lighter belly. They have tapered flukes, no notch, single scratches, and charcoal gray back. And here is a map with the distribution of Sowerby big well around the world, it is expected to be on the Caribbean. The official classification of this species is less concerned. And now we are going to talk about the Delphinidae family, the biggest of all the family cetaceans living in the Caribbean region. Let's start with killer whale, Orsinus orca. When they are neonate, the length is about 2.1 to 2.6 meters long. The weight is about 160 to 180 kilograms. When they are adults, females reach a length of 8.5 meters and males 9.8 meters. The adult males is about 10 tons and females 7.5 tons. They do have 10 to 14 teeth in each row in the upper jaw and the lower jaw. Killer whale have really characteristic pattern that make them easily to distinguish between species. They have white oval patch above and behind the eye. They have body heavy with blonde indistinctive beak. The flippers are broad and rounded. The throat, the chest, and the belly are white. The back is black or gray. They have a gray saddle patch behind the dorsal fin, and the dorsal fin is in the mid back. In males, it's really high, it's 1.8 meters, and it's triangular. It is smaller and more curved in females. And here we have a picture of an alive killer whale, and on the right, you can see the distribution within the Caribbean region. The official classification of this species is data deficient. And now let's talk about the shore fin pilot well or Globicephala macrorhynchus. When they are neonate, the length is about 1.4 to 1.9 meters long. When they are adults, the females reach an average of a length of 5.5 meters and males about 7.2 meters. And the, the weight is about 3.6 tons. They do have 7 to 9 tooth in each row in the upper jaw and the lower jaw. So these animals have a head with bulbous melon and indistinctive beak. This is really important. They do have a light anchor shaped patch on the throat. The color is black. The flippers, the pectoral flippers are a single shape and is one fifth of the body length. The dorsal fin is long base and strongly curved with rounded tip located forward on the body. And they have lighter markings on the belly. 
This is a picture on the left of a short fin paddle whale alive. And on the right, you can see a map of distribution of these species within the Caribbean region. The official classification of these species is less concerned. The false killer whale, or Pseudorca crassidens, the neonate length is about 0.8 meters long, and when they are adults, the length is about 5 to 6 meters long, and about 2 tons is the weight. They do have 7 to 12 each uh, tooth row in the upper jaw and the lower jaw. They have rounded head and tapering with no beak. They have a long straight mouth line. They may have light gray color on the head, and they do have an anchor shaped area between the flippers. They have a hump on the anterior edge of the pectoral fin. This is really distinctive of this species. And they have uh, long flippers, narrow and pointed. The dorsal fin varies slender and curved rounded tip near the mid body. The body is long and slender, dark gray to black. The color uh, black is except for a variably distinct gray. And yeah, the flippers are long, narrow, and pointed. And here you have a couple of pictures of a stranded of a false killer whale. You can see on the left, the animal is really skinny and probably uh, have some disease. Also the same animal on the right and the photo on the right, you can see that this animal had parasites within the teeth. So probably this animal was sick of some disease. The picture on the left, you can see the dorsal fin that is really typical of this species. And on the right, you can see the map of distribution of these species. The official classification of these species is near treatment. Melon head whale, Peponocephala electra. When they are neonate, the length is about 1 meter long. When they are adults, the length is about 13 to 16 meters long, and the weight is about 275 kilograms. They do have 20 to 25 tooth in each row in the upper and the lower jaw. Melon head whale have triangular head from above and also have a black triangular mask. They do have white lips. The beak is indistinct with mouth line long and straight. They have anchor shaped gray patch on throat. The flippers have a convex anterior margin pointed at the tips. They have white areas on the abdomen and the urogenital area. The color is black from above and the dorsal fin is falcate, slender, and sharply pointed. And here are some pictures of uh, alive animals on the left and on the right, the map of distribution of these species within the Caribbean region. The official classification of these species is less concerned. Pygmy killer whale, or Fereza atenuata, when they are neonate, the length is about 0.8 meters long, and when they're adults, they reach the length of 2.6 meters long with 225 kilograms. In the upper jaw, they do have 8 to 11 tooth in each row, and in the lower jaw, they do have 11 to 13 tooth in each row. Pygmy killer whale have rounded head, no big, and forehead may be white. They do have a straight mouth line bordering white. The flippers have a convex anterior margin rounded at a tip. They do have an anchor shaped light area between flippers. They do have a slender, dark gray, or black body. They do have lighter on sides and belly with white patches on the abdomen. They do have narrow cape and gray curves under the dorsal fin, and the dorsal fin is falcate, place it at the mid back. And here you have a picture of a live animals of pygmy killer whale. And on the right, you can see a map of distribution of these species within the Caribbean region. The official classification of these species is less concerned. And now let's talk about Fraser dolphin or Lagenodelphis jose. When they are neonate, they reach the length about 1 meter or 1.0 meter length. When they are adults, the females reach an average of 2.6 meters and males 2.7 meters long. And the weight is about 210 kilos. They do have 38 to 44 tooth in each row in the upper jaw and the lower jaw. Fraser dolphin have a stocky body, a dorsal fin triangular, placed on the mid-back. The body is black, dark, and brownish gray. The males have a large post-anal hump. The belly is white or pink. They do have a dark band from the face to the anus, widened and darker with age. 
they do have a flipper stripe from the mouth to the pectoral flippers, and they do have a short and stubby beak. And here is a couple of pictures of a stranded Fraser dolphin. You can see on the left all the characteristic color and the bands, and on the right you can see the distinctive beak. And this is a map with the distribution of Fraser dolphin within the Caribbean region. The official classification of this species is less concerned. Resort dolphin, when they are neonate, they have a 1.1 to 1.5 meters long, and when they are adults, they reach the length of 3.8 meters long with 400 kilos. In the upper jaw, they may have one to two tooth in each row, and in the lower jaw, they may have two to seven tooth in each row. Rhesus dolphin have a robust blunt head with vertical crease in front of the melon and mouth line with slope upward. They do have flippers long pointed and recurved. The coloration of the body is from dark gray to white present with white scratches, spots and blushes. They do have white patches in the urogenital area the flippers are darker than the rest of the body, the tail stalk is very shallow, and the dorsal fin is tall and slender. And here's a picture with the dorsal fin, which is really tall, and the coloration that is expected for this species. On the right, you can see a stranded rhesus dolphin with um, the long flippers and the coloration that is really specific or really characteristic from this species. Here is a map of the distribution of resource dolphin within the Caribbean region. The official classification of this species is less concerned. Bottlenose dolphin or Tursio truncato have a length of 1 to 1.3 meters long when they are neonates, and when they are adults, they reach the length of 1.9 to 3.8 meters long, and an average of 650 kilogram maximum on weight. In the upper jaw and the lower jaw, they do have 18 to 27 tooth in each row. Bottlenose dolphins have short to moderate length, stocky beak, robust body. The dorsal fin is tall and falcate in the mid back. The coloration is from black to dark gray on the back and sides. They have a ventral field that can have light gray to white, sometimes picking food and flipper recurve and tip pointed. Here you have pictures of bottlenose dolphin in the Caribbean region. Here on the left, there is a stranded uh, bottlenose dolphin. And here is a map of the distribution of bottlenose dolphin within the Caribbean region. The official classification of this species is less concerned. The roof tooth dolphin, Stinobredalensis, they have a weight of 155 kilograms when they're adults and a length of 2.6 to 2.8 meters long. In the upper jaw and the lower jaw, they do have 19 to 28 each tooth row. Stinobredalensis individuals have conical head, gradually sloping melon. This is really characteristic of this species. They do have robust body, the dorsal fin is prominent and slightly falcate. They have narrow cape that dips slightly onto the side below the dorsal fin. The sides are gray. They may have oval scars probably from cookie cutter shark quite often. The males have a postanial hump. The lips, the lower jaw, and the ventral area are usually white. And they do have large flippers. And here you have a couple of pictures of stranded uh, roof tooth dolphin. You can see the coloration on the belly, the shape of the head, and the teeth on the right. They are actually roof. So if you touch it or if you see it, they have like a, this uh, texture. And here is a great picture of Stenobrenalensis alive. Here is the map with the distribution of these species within the Caribbean region. And the official classification of these species is less concerned. Spinner dolphin or Stenalongi rostris, when they're neonate, they reach the length of 0.7 to 2.6 meters long. They weigh about 16 to 18 kilograms. When they're adults, 
either males or females, they reach about 2 meters long and the weight of 82 kilograms. In the upper jaw and the lower jaw, they do have 40 to 60 tooth in each row. This species has an erected and canted dorsal fin. This is really typical for this species. They do have a slender body. The males have a large post-anal hump, more prominent in other subspecies. They have tripartite body coloration, dark cape, light gray side, and white belly. The beak is long and slender, and the tip is darker. They do have an eye to flipper stripe, and there is a geographic form gray spinner dolphin. And here you can see some examples of a stranded spinner dolphin on the left and a live spinner dolphin on the right. And here is the map of distribution of these species within the Caribbean region. The official classification of these species is less concerned. The Atlantic spotted dolphin or Estenella frontalis, when they are neonate, they reach the length of 0.8 to 1.2 meters long. When they are adults, they reach the length of 2.3 meters long and 143 kilograms. The upper jaw have 32 and 42 tooth in each row, and the lower jaw have 30 to 40 tooth in each row. They do have a distinct crease between big and mellow. They have stocky beak. The flippers are recurved. The dorsal fin is tall and falcate. They do have a white spot bigger than the standard atenuata, and the flukes are unremarkable. And here you have a couple of pictures. The one on the left, you can see that um, really typical coloration on the body. And on the right, you can see a stranded animal. Here you have a distribution map of Estrella frontalis within the Caribbean region. And the official classification of this species is less concerned. The pantropical spotted dolphin, Estrella attenuata, when they are neonate, the length is about 0.8 meters long, and when they are adults, the length is about 1.6 to 2.4 meters long, and the weight is about 119 kilos. In the upper jaw and the lower jaw, they do have 34 to 48 tooth in each row. The dorsal fin is falcate and very narrow. They do have white spots smaller than the Stella frontalis. The males have a small post-anal hump. They do have slender body. The dorsal cape is high above the flipper. The flippers are slender and strongly recurved. They do have white tip of the beak, a slender and long beak, and distinct crease between beak and mellow. And here you can see two pictures. The one on the left is a live animal, and the one on the right is a stranded animal, both with typical colorations. This is a map with the distribution of these species within the Caribbean region. The official classification of this species is less concerned. Climene dolphin or Stenella climene, when they are neonate, they reach the length of less than 1.2 meters. When they are adults, either males or females, they reach the length of 1.9 meters and about 80 kilograms of weight. In the upper jaw and the lower jaw, they do have 39 to 52 tooth in each row. Climene dolphin have a dark stripe on the top of the beak and mustache. This mustache is unique for this species, and this is an easy way to differentiate between other species. The beak is robust, mostly light gray, except for the tip and lips, which are black. They do have dark coloration around the eye. They do have dark gray stripes from the eye to the flipper. They do have a dark dorsal cape that dips above the eye and under the dorsal fin. The dorsal fin is erected and slightly falcated. They do have tripartite body coloration first, the dark cape, then light gray side, and then white belly. And here are a couple of pictures that show the coloration that they have and the clear mustache on the beak. And here is a map of the distribution of these species within the Caribbean region. The official classification of this species is less concerned. Striped dolphin or Estenella cerealoalba, when they are neonate, they are about 1 meter long. When they are adults, the length is about 2.5 meters and the weight is about 156 kilograms maximum. 
In the upper jaw and the lower jaw, they do have 40 to 55 tooth in each row. The characteristic that differentiates this animal from other species is the presence of three lines coming from the eye. The first one is dark gray stripe from the eye to the flipper. The second is an accessory stripe. And the third one is a stripe from the eye to the anus. The beak is mostly dark. They have light gray thorax, dark cape, light gray spinal blades. The dorsal fin is tall and falcate. The belly is white. Here are a couple of animals that are still alive, showing the coloration pattern typical of this species. And here is a map with the distribution of these species within the Caribbean region. The official classification of this species is less concerned. The common dolphin or Delphinus delphis, when they are neonate, the length is about one meter long. When they are adults, they reach in males the length of two meters or 2.5 meters long. In females, they reach the length of 1.9 to 2.2 meters long, with the weight of about 235 kilograms. In the upper jaw and the lower jaw, they do have 47 to 62 tooth in each row. They do have a deep crease between the beak and the melon. They have a brownish gray cape. They are tanned to oak thoracic patch. The dorsal fin is tall and falcate. They do have a gray flank patch. The males have a prominent post anal bump and they are slender chin to flipper stripe. And here are some pictures of a live animal on the left and stranded on the right, where you can see the typical coloration of these species. And here is the distribution of uh, Delphinus capensis within the Caribbean region. The official classification of this species is less concerned. The Guiana dolphin, Sotalia guianensis, when they're neonate, the length is about 0.8 to 1.15 meters long. When they're adults, they reach about 1.7 uh, meters long in the case of males and 1.8 meters long in the case of females. The weight is about 40 kilograms. In the upper jaw, they do have 30 to 36 each tooth row, and the lower jaw, they do have 28 to 34 each tooth row. Guiana dolphin has a small and triangular dorsal fin. They have rounded mellowed without crease and long and narrow beak. They have poorly defined and broad stripe from the eye to the flipper. They are dark bluish or brownish gray on the dorsal region and they are light gray with pinkish tinge on belly. The belly is more darker than Sotalia fluviatilis. They can have a lighter streak of gray on the sides of the tailstock. And here are some pictures of Guiana dolphins in the wild. And here is a map of distribution of these species within the Caribbean region. The official uh, classification of these species is near threatened. To Cushy or Sotalia fluviatilis, they, when they are neonate, they reach a length of 0.7 to 0.8 meters long, and when they are adults, they reach about 1.5 meters long and the weight is about 40 kilograms. In the upper jaw, they do have a 28 to 35 each tooth row, and they do have in the lower jaw 26 to 33 each tooth row. Tukushi has the belly more lighter than Sotalia guianensis. They do have a small and triangular dorsal fin. They do have deep crease between the beak and the melon, the long, narrow beak, the dark bluish or brownish gray on the dorsal region, they do have the poorly defined and broad stripes from the eye to the flipper. So they have pretty much the same characteristics that I mentioned uh, from Sotalia guianensis. And here is the distribution of Tukushi. They are classified officially as endangered. And now let's talk about the family Inide. The Boto or Ineangiofrensis when they're neonate, they're about 0.8 meters long. When they're adults, males reach a length of 2.8 meters and females about 2.3 meters long. When they're adults, the weight is about 207 kilograms maximum. 
In the upper jaw and the lower jaw, they do have 23 to 35 tooth in each row. Both have a really distinctive color. They have visible cheeks. They have long beak with bristles. They have small eyes. They have step bulbous foreheads. They have large and triangular with blonde tips on the flippers. They are light below. They have deep and triangular with a concave trailing edge in the um, caudal uh, flipper, prominent notch. They are gray to white to pink with age. There is no true dorsal fin. The dorsal ridge is two thirds of the body. And here is a map with the distribution of the different subspecies of Inia geoffrensis. The official classification of this species is in danger. And now let's talk about Sirenids, the family Trichachidae. The West Indian manatee or Trichachus manatus, when they're neonate, they reach the land about 1.2 meter and they weigh about 30 kilograms. When they are adults, they reach the land of 3.5 to 4 meters long and they weigh about 1.6 tons. They do have five to seven pairs of bicuspid post canyon molars each jaw. Manatees have small heads. They have a squarish, thickened snout with mobile lips. They don't have neck, but they do have folds and wrinkles. They do have rounded body, gray to brown. The skin is very rough and thick. They have fine hairs and have paddle-like tail. They do have mammary glands in the axillary region. They do have long, flexible forelimbs, and they do have three to four nails. And here is a photo of the typical West Indian manatee. And here is the map of the West Indian manatee distribution and the estimate population per country. The official classification of this species is vulnerable. Okay, so first, we're gonna start with the identification quiz with the first question. Do you remember which species has mustache? We mentioned that before, and I hope you remember. Yes, the Climene dolphin, that's right. From all the species that we studied today, which species is the one that has the longer flippers? Do you remember that? Of course, the humpback whale. Which species has three lines coming from the eye? Do you remember? You are right, the striped dolphin. Do you know which is the characteristic that Cifide are recognized? Yes, they don't have notch. Which is the species of whale that has three ridges in the head? Yes, the bright whale. Can you mention the characteristics that differentiate between Odontoceti from Mysticeti? Do you remember that? How many members of Delphinidae live in the wider Caribbean region? 17 species are from this family. How many members of Sirenidae live in the wider Caribbean region? Only one, the West Indian manatee. How many members of Balenopteride live in the wider Caribbean region? Seven of them, do you remember? Blue whale, fin whale, common minke whale, bride's whale, sail whale, humpback whale, and rice whale. How many members of Balenopteride live in the wider Caribbean region? Only one species, the North Atlantic right whale, which species do you like more and why? Here are the references that were used for prepare this presentation. Thank you for your attention.